Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 1st of 2023, well, it is titled Annular Solar Eclipse over Utah. So what do we see here? Well, here we see part of what is called the hill in the foreground is called the Factory Butte, which is in which is located in Utah in the United States. And up above in the sky, in addition to seeing clouds, we see two astronomical objects. And that would be our sun and our moon. Now we see them in a sequence here so that we can kind of watch how the eclipse would have occurred. Now this is the eclipse that occurred not all that long ago. And an eclipse occurs when our moon passes in front of our sun. Now it's a coincidence here on Earth that the sun and moon happen to be almost the same size in the sky. The moon is a lot smaller, but is a lot closer, so it appears larger, while the sun is really a lot larger, but many times further away. And the two effects happen to just balance, giving us the eclipses like this. Now we can see that the images have been enhanced to allow you to see the sun and the moon. So you'll note that you can see features on the moon. The moon was not being directly illuminated by the sun because it's in the same direction in the sky. So the illuminated portion of the moon was facing away from us. However, even when the moon is not being directly illuminated by the sun, it is still indirectly illuminated by light that travels from the sun to the earth, then back to the moon illuminating it and then back to earth again. So that allows us with some image processing to be able to bring out those details. So we could really see how the moon was moving over the course of the eclipse. Now this is what is known as an annular or a ring of fire eclipse. And it occurs when the moon at the highest peak of the eclipse is unable to fully block out the sun. So it sits right in front of the sun, but there is still a ring of sunlight visible around it. And it's just not quite large enough to block it out. Now that occurs when the moon is at apogee. Apogee is its greatest distance in its orbit from Earth. So the moon orbits elliptically. Sometimes it's a little bit closer. When we see a full moon there, we call that a super moon. And sometimes it's a little farther away. And in those cases, if an eclipse happens to occur, we get an annular eclipse. And that's what we see here in the one central image off to the left hand side that has the big diffraction pattern around it from the camera itself. So it's not actually the sun rays going out there. That's actually just an effect due to the camera. But we can actually see the images there and watch as the moon slowly covers up more and more of the sun and then slowly passes away from it again later. So a preview of the eclipse coming up the total solar eclipse that is coming up in less than six months now on April the 8th of 2024. So that was our picture of the day for November 1st of 2023. It was titled Annular Solar Eclipse over Utah. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.